right guys, travels to Preston. And part of my travels is eating indigenous food. Sometimes, sometimes, not all the time. But so we're out in, uh, what is this area called again? Yeah. Uh, this, this whole area? Uh, Panacea. Panacea, okay. So we're in Panacea and we're eating at a uh, local restaurant. Uh, have the menu right here. Uh, Kawasami. Is that how you Kawasami. Okay. I will apologize. <laughs> but yeah, so um, when I when we first arrived, they um, they gave me a local drink, and it's uh, fermented corn, and it's called chicha. Chicha. All right, and it was delicious actually, very delicious. And when we sat down, we moved this. Uh, we have this type of sauce, which is called the, uh, what's the sauce again? I'm Aki. Home. Aki. Aki. Okay, I'm horrible with names. All my fans know. Uh, so we have peas, and then we have uh, corn that's been dried on the deck and stuff like that. So it's crunchy, delicious. And then we have the local drink, which I'm not going to drink because it's tomatoes, and I don't do tomatoes. <laughs> but um, it's not the traditional tomatoes. It's a different type of tomato, so... But uh, let me move this out the way. So yeah, this is delicious. Oh my. The corn is so good. I'm gonna move this for my neck so you guys don't get the 4K sound of me chewing. <laughs> so you have a kind of... Um... YouTube or where? We have a YouTube channel. Mm. Yeah. What's the name? Travels of Preston. Delicious. Let me show you the kitchen. As you see, very nice, very nice. It's almost like we're in the middle of nowhere, but excellent food. I'll show you guys outside a little later, but right now we're having uh, lunch. All right, guys, we just got more food. Um, this is some type of soup. Let's see, we'll get a little closer look. And like right, potatoes and corn. potatoes and corn. Corn is the staple of the community here. <laughs> oh yes. Oh okay. Water crease. So this is water crease inside of the um, mm -hmm. soup. Oh man, is this salt? Salt. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. <laughs> It's good though. Mm -hmm. It's a little hot as far as the temperature wise, it's hot. This is so tight. You see, guys, this is where I, this is the way that I, I travel. Cause this is only my second time in this type of environment. The other time was in um, Colombia. It was at somebody's house and they cooked, uh, you know, the local dishes. And then um, this time, I'm fortunate to do it again in Ecuador. Ecuador is definitely in my top five now. So. It didn't push out some other another country or so. I, I'm I'm about to redo my list. Ecuador has made me redo it, and I haven't even explored everything I wanted to explore yet. So I'm definitely coming back next year. Hopefully, have a year will be my tour guide, and um, I want to see so much because I want to do the volcanoes. <laughs> you want to find the volcanoes? I'm gonna do one of the volcanoes.
Mm. We're good. So they're still preparing food. As you can see. Such lovely people. Yeah, the yeah. super cereal. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, chicken. Okay. Chicken fried and this is the salad. Ah, by the way, this is the this is church. This is the white uh, bean I told you in the morning. Mm -hmm. Usually, this is a combination. This is the the balance because to make this, you need to put in the water, etc. So this represents the water, and this is toasted in the fire. So it's a fire and water. Oh, okay. Fire and water. Uh -huh, this is the balance. This is the typical snack. Oh, okay. This is the chochos con tostado. <laughs> the name is terrible, but chochos con tostado is a traditional uh, snack. Okay. You gotta try the chicken first. That's just my thing. I just kind of want to get some of this sauce and put it on it. Okay. Mmm, look good. Is it spicy? Not really. Mm -mm. <laughs> and you know, the flavor of the chili pepper sauce made in, in this mm -hmm. style is better mm. than the others in the blender machine. Because the blender machine, just they cook it. Mm. But here they mash it. Ooh. Also, with the time, the stones collect all the flavors, right? And then yeah. in the next, uh, in the new preparations, appears that flavors. Okay. The chicken is good. Put some more sauce on this thing. It looks good. And while good, maybe just, just, just a tad bit salt, just a little bit. I didn't completely drop the salt. That's way too much. I thought I was trying to. There you go. Uh oh, too much. That'd yeah, be all right. We we'll just spread that around. <laughs> Get some more sauce on the quinoa. So quinoa is a very um, popular dish for this area. Then. It's part of the base of the food. Okay. The local people. Also, it's very, very, very healthy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in the last years, the price of the quinoa is expensive. Mm. It's for the fashion. Mm, okay. I mean, in the last um, seven, eight years, Suddenly appears the new people that they are, for example, we approach to a restaurant in a group of tourists. Mm -hmm. They ask, I am gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah. <laughs> so they say, okay, I'm gluten free. So what is that? So mm -hmm. I, no, I cannot eat nothing from yeah. you know, barley, etc. So, okay. 
uh, I can offer Kino, I say, okay, thank you so much. The next week, two of them, uh, two persons. The next week, you see little by little becoming more and more. And that is around the world. Yeah, it's normal now. For um, that reason, actually, the pre- for this reason, we export a lot of quinoa to Europe. Oh. Because they they are good gluten free. Yeah. <laughs> so the price <laughs> of the quinoa is higher. It's wow. Much more expensive. Yeah, because um, <laughs> so like my wife uh, sisters, mm-hmm. um, one is uh, completely vegan, completely. Yeah. Like, I mean, like hardcore vegan. Don't do honey. No honey. Yeah, don't do because it comes from an animal. <laughs> so yeah, like so when you got people uh, that are vegan that are really vegan, vegan, yeah, like they yeah they eat just plants, as simple as that. Simple as that. Or photosynthesis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you got some people that are just vegetarian. So yeah, my sisters are. Um, but, you know, a combination of the both, so. But what is the reason? Because they respect the animals or because they don't like the flavor of the, of the meat? I so, think it's more health. Mm, I, think it's health. Just, I think it's just more about being healthy. Yeah. Not eating so much red meat or, you know, um, because um, they used to eat meat all the time. You know, steaks and chicken. And, yeah, for sure. But um, over the last, I think, three or four years, she hasn't touched meat. Mm-hmm. I tried to go vegan <laughs> last year. I think I went about two weeks without eating meat, two or three weeks, and I was like, hell with this. I was like, I gotta get some chicken or something. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I don't eat pork like that anymore. Unless I'm on vacation or something, but at home, I don't eat pork. No. Mm-hmm. I kind of just got away from it. So now, I more or less just eat chicken um maybe turkey something like that that's about it here it's like you see these, these dishes you see we have the protein we have the cereals we have the salad but the salad you see is very very big yeah sometimes the salad is just for decoration <laughs> the people they don't eat it they put more attention to the protein okay this is good though. So yeah, guys, if you're in the area, and come to Ecuador. You know, I highly recommend y'all Javier. But you know, whoever you guys tour with, or if you're that adventurous and come out here by yourself, more power to you. But make sure, like you said, you check them out. There's a map on the back. I would definitely try to put this in the description so that way you guys can. Um, you know, check them out and come support the locals and things of that nature. So, this food is delicious. It's healthy. <laughs> yeah. And it's not very filling, like, you know, like, oh, God, I ate mm-hmm. too much. Yeah. So, guys, it's perfect. It's a perfect lunch. So, I just want to say thanks for watching. And, um, Leave a comment and make sure you like. Um, also, recommend to anybody who might think all the foodies out there, you know, people that like to try indigenous food or just immerse themselves in the culture. Because uh, this year has been a good, good year as far as uh, just a mixture of just eating different types of food. So, now we was talking off camera <laughs> about the Amazon jungle. <laughs> I will go. But I may have to bring my own food. <laughs> I may have to bring my own food and water, apparently. Uh, I'm not going to say why. Because people that want to go, they go and enjoy. And But he just gave me a little inside uh, knowledge on certain things. And I'm like, thank you for telling me. <laughs> so, but I can't wait to film that, though. That's going to be um, a real big highlight of my travel career. So. So yeah, I don't want to keep dragging this on, but yeah, so um, like I said, just go on support and I'll catch you guys another day, okay? Peace.